the warm oasis in the cosmic ocean. In the endless chill of the universe, where space stretches on in silence and stars burn far away like lanterns in the void, there lies one small, fragile jewel, Earth. From a distance, it may seem insignificant, a pale blue dot adrift in a cosmic sea. But up close, it is nothing short of miraculous, an oasis of warmth in an otherwise frozen desert. Think about it. Out there, temperatures plunge to nearly absolute zero, and radiation storms rage across empty space. Yet here, on this little planet, rivers flow, trees breathe, and hearts beat. Sunlight warms your skin, oceans cradle entire worlds of life, and every breeze carries the song of existence. Earth is the improbable sanctuary where cold and heat, chaos and order have struck a perfect balance. Why here? Why us? The answer lies in what scientists call the Goldilocks Zone, a rare orbit around our star where conditions are just right. Not too hot, not too cold, just enough warmth for liquid water to flow, for ecosystems to thrive, for life to take root and evolve into something as complex, as tender as human love. It's as if the universe carved out a little pocket of comfort, a glowing campfire in an endless night, and whispered, here, life may begin. But Earth is more than science. It is memory. It is story. Every grain of sand has witnessed billions of years. Every mountain carries the scars of time. And every one of us is woven from its elements. Children of this warm cradle, born from stardust, breathing air that once circled through ancient forests. In a universe so vast, so often described as cold and indifferent, Earth is proof that warmth is possible. It is proof that life can not only survive, but flourish. When you walk barefoot on the grass, hear laughter echo in the streets, or feel the gentle touch of another hand, you are experiencing something rare, something cosmic. So the next time you look up at the stars, remember this. While billions of worlds may drift in silence, we have been given this oasis, this sanctuary, this home. And perhaps the greatest miracle of all is not just that Earth exists, but that we are here, aware enough to cherish it. In our next episode, we'll imagine a chilling possibility. What would happen if the light went out?